of people this morning. Oh, I have actually got some viewers. How about that? Cool stuff. So today we're looking at Spirit of Steam. And this is the first of, ooh, what have we got today? Seven things, I think. Something like that. I'm just trying to get something working that doesn't want to work here, of course. Why would it work? Because, you know, it should. Ah, that's life. There we go. No, that's not working. That's not working at all. Grr. Grr. That's okay. It's not the game that's not working. It's just something else I'm trying to get set up so that I can actually monitor what's going on. But uh, no, it doesn't want to do it. There we go. It's working now. Yay. All right. Hello, crazy killer. How are you today? Hope you're well. And what are we doing? We're doing Spirit of Steam. And what we're going to try and do today is run a couple of community scenarios. That will be later in the day. They will be at uh, 1500 and 1730 my time. So that's Eastern Standard Time if you're trying to look it up. And right now we're going to try and complete the first level of mastery. Well, the first part of it anyway. That'll happen over the next couple of sessions. And first up, we're going to prep a 6P loco. Because we can. And we're going to do it in May. So let's go to May. Well, why not? We'll do it in June. Why not? Summertime. And we're going to do a Jubilee, I think. And we're going to do the 1142, I think. Prep. 1142. We're going to do that one. No readily apparent reason. We just are. Hope you're well, crazy killer. Welcome to the stream. Don't know how many people I actually get today because, of course, I never stream during the week. If it's too loud, too quiet, let me know. Right. What are we doing? We're going to the Liverpool Street turntable. That is probably right there. I've never run this one before. There we go. I've never used this turntable. Might be a good idea to actually get out of the cab, I think, and go and set that turntable so we don't fall in the hole. Lamp. Because if we back up now, we're just going to fall in the hole. That would be a bit, a bit shit. All right. That way? Yes. Don't want to go too fast, though. A bit more. One more. Oh, good luck on your assessment, mate. I hope you do well. Yeah, I quite like it. Uh -oh, too far. Too far. Stop, 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 stop. Now that. You know, every time I think it automatically lines up with the tracks, it doesn't. There we go. Worry about those head codes in a minute. I'm already going to be getting out again. Yes, I want to do it. When you go to the turntable, it does that. Yeah, we have to go backwards onto the turntable, so. Oh, shouldn't go full forwards, backwards, but there you go. And ejectors, everything else looks pretty good. Let's make sure we've got water. Yes, we've got water. Got no firemen. Where'd you go? Sigh. So when the clocks are open, looks good, breaks off. Little bit to steam, not much. And we should go backwards onto the tent table. Should have done that before I moved, shouldn't I? Naughty. Bouncy train makes for a bouncy camera. I do so wish that we didn't have cameras that hit things. Mm. I think it's just on. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let's just put this back to mid gear before we run away. I have to jump in the chair to do that. put that all the way on and if we're doing it right we'd also 
our fireman, who's not here, would put the handbrake on. Now one criticism I do have of the turntable is I'd like to be able to say which way I want to face. So this one's okay because you're facing the track you're putting the locomotive onto. But when you're um, going to put it off behind you, you can't actually see the track to line it up. It's a bit annoying. Come on, bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more. Done. And now it'll ask me if I want to begin again, because, you know, it's like that. Back in the chair, yes, I want to begin. Very much so. And full forward. Let's give it a tiny bit of juice. Cylinder cocks are still open. And away we go. That looks like a green signal in front of me. A little diagonal dwarf there. It's very wobbly on the turntable, isn't it? Wobble, wobble. this camera. This one. Hey, I've disappeared too. Not using enough steam to make the safety valve shut up, unfortunately. Maybe I should use some more. You're right. You know, I shouldn't make the rigmarole of putting the thing on and then not actually taking it off, did I? That's pretty funny. Thank you, Crazy Killer. Here's me going, ooh, put it on for safety and then don't take it off. Ah, safety valves. Gotta love them. That's back. Second I cut off. Now I think it'll do all the points for me. Yep, looks like it. So let's go. Oops. Let's turn around. Full reverse. Back we go. What? Bloody red signal, red signal, red signal! Gah! Damn it. <laughs> Let's do that again. <sighs> Sigh. Sigh. Didn't ask the signalman for permission. So silly. <laughs> So silly. You know, I'm not putting handbrake on this time. Do, 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 do it again. Moth. Please, sir, can I have some more? More. You know, every time I use this wheel, it reminds me so much of the pipe wheels in Half-Life that I keep looking around for head crabs just to make sure I'm not about to get attacked. Isn't that silly? All right, full reverse. On the clock open, and back we go. Let's try not to drive it off the turntable. Going on at six mile an hour is a little excessive. No, that's not enough game. 
That's going to go badly, trust me. Alright, that's enough. And break full on. Yep, good. No, I didn't put you back in mid gear, did I? Back in mid gear. So it can't go anywhere. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Too far, too far. <laughs> Out we get. Back we go. Let's see if we can get this right this time and not mess it up. Is it going to make it? No. Come on then. That'll do it, I think. Got it. Alright then. Thanks, Paul, for whacking me around on the camera. Just what I wanted. Uh, it does throw a hissy fit, Crazy Killer. You probably won't be able to couple up because it wants it to be the right way around. But feel free to try because I haven't tried that for a while. And I did put it in as silly. Hello, Chicago. How are you? Welcome to the stream. We are preparing a locomotive to go into service because my objective today is to try and complete at least some of the mastery. Yes, I know about the signal, crazy killer. It's okay. I just need to make it move. So I'm going in the right direction. So when I do this, it does something. There we go. It's just gone... Hmm, well, white. Back we go. You don't need to work hard because it's downhill, but I'm just trying to get the safety valve to shut up. Ooh, finally. And straight back on again. Ah, oh, better start braking anyway. Otherwise, I'm going to hit my coaches and go bang. That would be embarrassment. Hmm. We appear to be inside. We hit something. Why wouldn't you, Ralph Ann? What's wrong with doing that? Now, which coupler have we got out? We've got the Buckeye coupler out, so I'm going to have to stop early. Go down there and change coupler. Bonk. Love the new buffers. Buffers? Buffers? It's a buffler. I've coupled. I did. 
Yay! Well, that's the first part of Mastery done. I am only just switched into the public build, if you're wondering, so it's all starting again. Chicago says, because there's barely any trains, every time I ask to rail fan someone, they barely seem to care. Oh, well, still by yourself then. Rail fans are weird people, remember that. Now we're going to do a break van tour, and I think we might do this one in the rain. What do you reckon? Rain? I reckon rain. A bit of rain? Do halfway on the rain. Halfway on the wetness. Probably need some clouds since it's raining. A little bit of wind, maybe. Seems fair. And we're going to do the 8F break van tour. I've got to find it now. Break. There it is. I can spell break. How's it like that? Yeah, so I'm looking forward to the improvements of the buffering going into the German routes because there's nothing I love more than coupling up to a train and having it sitting there going clonk, 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 clonk for the next five minutes while you wait for a service to start. Wait for one minute, all right? I think we might get set up, though. What do you reckon? Let's have our cylinder cocks open. Let's have our brakes on so we don't go rolling away. Let's take our handbrake off. Let's check our water, make sure we've got some. You can just see the water level. I actually prefer the water level in the 6P. I think that's better because this one's a bit hard to see. That has gone back up to there, but very hard to see. I think we need the uh, small ejector open. In Chicago hopes there's American steam locomotives. I think the future of steam will depend very much on how well this sells and what its reviews are like. Surely it's been more than a minute by now. We've done lots of stuff. Yay! Where are we going? 24 miles away. Do we actually have our brake bands? Oh, we do. We've got a big line of brake bands. Okay, they're already on. Well, we need to go down the back. Because, you know, the guy down the back, it's raining. I know it's summer, but, you know... A bit cold. He needs a fire. There we go. Perfect. All right. Let's open our large ejector. Let's go full forwards. Put on a bit of sand because it's raining. A bit of oomph. And we should see ourselves start to pull away. Very good. Leave the cylinder cocks open for a little while. Uh, the steam is working by magic at the moment. Oh, I like that little fire in the back. Maybe we should have lit the fire in all of them. Ooh. We might do that somewhere. We might stop and put the fire in all of them. That would be fun. Oh, I'm being naughty again. How unlike me. Do you reckon all these tracks are set out of the yard? No. I'm run through that set of points. Oh. Change. You're all right. And now we get onto the signal track, so we're fine. My hope will be that we get get the fireman stuff finished in the not too distant future. I'd love to have wheel clacks along the entire line in the not too distant future as well. Looks like we have a green signal up there on the gantry. Reception to Spirit of Steam seems to have been okay so far, which is good. That's where you look at a signal and go, I hope that's not for me. Don't think it is. That's for the line next to me. 
so hard to tell on this line. There are so many signals and they're all different. Oh, that's interesting, Crazy Killer. I'm intending there's two community scenarios, one on WSR and one called and one on WCL, so I intend to run it later today on them. Ah, bridge. We have a diverging left. It's getting a little over speed. Then I diverging left and then I go right. Oh well. The joint sounds through here are actually pretty good. It's out on the main line itself that there's um probably some more needed. I have not seen any official announcements about it as yet. Ooh, time to go faster. Funny the way the windows draw in the steam before the carriage does. Oops. Gotta like that, don't you? They should feel pretty proud of themselves with what they've done with the wheels. And I love the little mechanical lubricators spinning away, especially since they go in opposite directions, like they really do on the loco. Oop, bit of wheel spin. Calm it down. Now, even though the track speed limit is 60, we are a fully braked freight. Can you have a look at something? Uh, we are fully braked, express freight, brake pipe throughout. We can do 55 miles an hour. There we go. Of course, it doesn't want to because it wants to spin. I have to look Sander on too, haven't I? I'll do. Naughty. Go, Feynman. So you forgot what your plane was, Chicago. Now she's doing her bit for the planet here. She's avoiding global warming by putting invisible coal into the boiler. So she's being very good. You'll be very proud of her. Seriously though, the um, the actual character animation, it's the best I've seen in TS. They did some serious work on this. Brakeman would check every now and again, make sure the signals ahead are actually green. Hasn't changed yet. No, it's 55 miles an hour for a express freight train with automatic brake operative or not less than 90% of the vehicles. That is us. Hello, NJT. How are you? You can share your uh, train stories with Chicago. So I am speeding a little. I'm doing 58 and I should be doing 55. Just, I'll find you the... Um, Save this somewhere because I can't show you where I'm looking at it. That'll be fine. Head codes. 
let me show you what I'm actually looking at to, uh, to hold. Don't open over there. Right, this is what I'm looking at. I don't know if you're about to see it in the channel. Just keep an eye on my train, which is going just a tiny bit fast. But basically the kind of train we are. This viewer is awful. Windows 11, get your shit together. We are an express freight train pipe fitted throughout the, with the automatic brake operative on not less than 90% of the vehicles. We're allowed to do 55, and I need to go and set my head code like that. So I should go and do that. Let's just jump out there and have a look out front. That was a green signal, fortunately. I need a head code like this and this. And there should be nothing on the back of my loco. There isn't. Fantastic. So we're back below speed again. We can pick up a little. Chicago says in the state, same locomotives have four crew members inside. That's um, union dependent. Depends what railway you're on and where. Most of them only have two. And the Union Pacific has a six inside because it's basically the size of a house. The trains on the railway that I work on, we have two unless there's someone in training. I'm in training to do that job right there. So we have three when there's someone in training. And if there's a trainee fireman and a trainee driver, there's four in that tiny little cab. Now, even though I'm going to get wet, I want to be able to see. So, all yeah. right. I mean, through Minchul Vernon. We've got a 30 mile an hour section coming up shortly. We won't start braking yet, though. That's a while away. If you go to the uh, Yosemite Valley Railway, for example, they have two crew in the cab. And if you want to, you can actually pay them 20 bucks and they'll let you have a cab ride. Have done that. Good fun. Can lead from the rear for a little while again. Hello, Cayman A. We're just doing our bit for global warming by not using the real coal. We're using invisible coal. Start gently braking. And the reason you start gently braking, if you look at the stock, sit about here. What happens if I release the brakes? See how they all loosened up? And if I put the brakes on, they'll push into each other again. See how they're pushing in now. So you've got to be a bit gentle on the brakes. Once you've actually started to apply the brake, you can put them on quite hard. I don't need to break all that hard because we've got a fair while to go. My objective is open. Good. Yeah, we had that for a while, but our insurance company didn't like it. So we stopped doing driver for a fiver. We did also, and I hope they come back, have driver experience trains where you actually um, spend the entire day on the railway driving a one of the locomotives with a couple of coaches on the back. And you can have your family in the coaches. distance signal is green so the following signals should all be green the semaphores are quite hard to learn so um, the hard up the top very much your friend one thing I'm sad about is if you turn off this HUD you lose the steam HUD as well which at the moment doesn't really matter but um, when we get firing I'd love them to be separate because I'd like to have the steam HUD but not have the uh, not have the rest of the HUD 
I can see in the distance there, there is a green signal on the left. Most of the time the semaphore is to the left of the line, but not always. And this is why we have to slow down, because we're changing tracks. Once we're through this, we'll be back up to full speed again. Just warn these passengers. Hey, do you want to see if they get into brake bands? I'm kind of curious, I haven't tried this. Let's bring this to a stop, I want to see if they get in. That'd be funny. I don't even know if you can open the doors. Let's find out. More stop. No, oh, it's not even going to stop in the platform. All right, we'll try it on a different platform. It's all good. I know some railways in the US, Chicago, do actually do driver experience runs. Sugar Pine Railway in California is one of them. Yosemite Sugar Pine. Um, I think Big Trees does it as well. Usually only happens on closed lines, whereas the ones you're around probably aren't on closed lines. I think Cass do it too. I think Cass you can pay to drive. In West Virginia, that's probably the closest one to you that I know of, Chicago. Oh, actually, Chicago wanted to see some wheel spin, didn't you? Will it lose it or will it just spark? No, it's just throwing sparks. We'll stop that. Remind me next time I stop to show you some wheel spin. More wheel spin. Let's get some sander on do some speed. No, not yet. Okay. Change our reverser a little. These signals are green, both the distant, which is the yellow one, and the top one. That's looking better. A little bit of sand and a little bit more cutoff. Our distant is green and our signal is green. And I'm getting more wheel spin. It must be very wet. Yeah, it's most likely short line railroads do things like that. I can't believe I just said whale words. Hmm. You're desperate to see wheel, wheel spin, aren't you, Chicago? Should I humour him, chat? What do you think? Should I stop and let him see wheel spin? again soon. Chat doesn't seem to want me to stop. Chicago. Green on the distant and green on the signal. Where are you seeing concrete tyres, young man? And there actually would have been, in the late 1950s, early 1960s, they did start putting in concrete. But I don't think there's any on this route. I think what you're seeing is wet ties. Ah, yes, Crazy Killer. People are doing fun things. They definitely are. Interestingly, I think some of the naughtiest people are the ambassadors. They're having way too much fun. We've got green on the semaphore ahead, just before the bridge. And the blasting safety valve again.
When they first made Fireman's, they didn't have butts, they were flat. Now they have butts. Looks a little more human. Start braking for this 15 miles an hour. Gentle brake while things pick up, and then I'll gradually increase, and hopefully I don't end up upside down. Because that's a bit, a bit, um, a bit exciting when that happens. Oh, that's a lot of semaphores. Now the two yellow ones that were flat there are warning me that I have a something going on ahead that I need to slow down for. And the two main signals were green, just like this main signal is green. And I've still got a, a flat distance. So it's continuing to warn me that I have something to do. Yeah, it would have been an interesting conversation, Crazy Killer. But I think they've actually done a really good job of making this character look quite human. I'm quite impressed. I assume you're talking about Thomas again, Chicago. I have seen in um, Creators Club that there's a day out with uh, Gordon and Henry already. Didn't take long. See those signals through there. What are these signals telling me? We've got one lower quadrant signal green, and below that I've got a caution. Yeah, I agree, Casey Killer, Crazy Killer. They've done an enormous amount of work on this obviously can't talk about the things I saw in the beta, but what I can tell you is that the progress from day to day to day was just amazing. That they'd run into a challenge, they'd stick their heads together, they'd sort it out. Sometimes the um, beta community would actually help sort it out. Uh, it's just a really, really huge team effort. Really good to see. We're being sidelined. Oh no! Shock horror. It's so much quieter back here, isn't it? So being guards better. <laughs> NJT asks, how do I feel about the Australian plate moving 1.4 centimetres every year? Mate, we're just coming over to crash into you. <laughs> Get used to it. We're on our way. See you in about 8 billion years. Assuming the sun lasts that long. Actually, I might be able to Chico show Chicago his wheel spin. Let's go. Will it do it? No. Nah. <laughs> no wheel spin for Chicago. I haven't seen a GS4 Chicago, so I'll take your word for it. What's our next signal up here? We have a green. Very good. Yeah, 
It's miserably cold here in Australia today. And wet. And windy. Quite horrible. Yeah, this is Brake Van Tour. It's a redistribution of brake fans to the other end of the line. This is a road, isn't it? Remind me when we get to a river to show you the water. The water is beautifully done. Got a signal coming up. What is it? It is... It's a distant green. Very good. It's cool that they've got both there. And that actually is prototypical. There's a lot of people who have been objecting to this signalling, but it's all based on photos from the same period. There really were four or five different signaling systems in operation at the same time. And this signal I don't think is for me, it's for the line next to me. <laughs> Who or what is Toad, Chicago? This is a station coming up. Let's see if the passengers get in. I'm curious. Got a green signal on our left there. The other two do not apply. We could be naughty and go and steal another brake van from over there. Oh, Toad the brake van. Okay. Of course, he's called Toad because he's towed along, right? See ya, crazy killer. Sleep well, mate. Now, I have my doubts passengers will get in, but... What happens if I go and open a door? Curious experimentation. So if I open the door, do they come here? No, they're too smart. But I think what we should do... need to make them all warm because this is the kind of silly thing that we do who reckons my train's going to catch fire now they're all going what is this guy doing why doesn't he just get out of the way so our passenger train can come he's holding us up He's a meanie. And then while the guard's going, you're what? What are you doing? What are you doing that for? Obviously bored. Not quite, but... Oops. Door. 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 Okay. Hello. How you doing? Having fun? Nice hat. I've got a hat like yours. Greetings. Oh, a serial killer. You want me to go away, don't you? Yep. Why are you sitting there in the rain? There's a roof over there. You can sit over there. You guys are dumb. All right, Chicago, you know what it's time for. Full forwards. Open the cops. Get out of the train, and we'll come down this side. Uh, let's get on the free camera, actually. Where are we now? We're under the bridge. On top of the bridge. Very good. Let's come down here. Come down here, because I know you're going to want this. This is just for you. All right. Ready for some wheel spin? Here we go. 
I'm going to laugh if it doesn't do it. Oops, my ejector's not on. That would help. That's funny, I don't think it's going to do it. Sanders are off. I've busted something, haven't I? What have I done? Breaks off. That's what was wrong. There it goes. See, right now it's blasting the entire fireman's fire up into the atmosphere. Look at the sparks. I have to do this at night sometime. I reckon it'll look quite cool. There you go. Happy now? Freaking out now, Chicago? It was just for you. Green signal. She's leaning out the window again. Doing a good job. Watching ahead, watching behind. I did see the AI use the turntable this morning on the stream. It's actually the first time I've seen that. I've never looked at it before. Well, it was losing grip then, but it seemed to recover itself. I was actually quite impressed at that, came in, and I, I enjoyed it. It's called a regulator, Chicago. Although it does provide throttling, I'll give you that. That's about as fast as we're allowed to go. No, oh, no, we can go up to 55, can't we? Bit more then. Oh, slippage, slippage. Cow, slippage. Who said that? Who was it? I heard you. Was it you? Did you moo? Maybe it was you. Mm, someone here mooed, I heard you. Keep quiet, you lot. Having a bit more slippage. We're doing all right. It's because it's wet. Driving in the wet in these is quite a bit challenging. Oh, gratuitous bridge pawn. Oh, and the river down there too. Cool. Is this one of the good ones? Can't quite see it in the rain, but... Yeah, it has actually got all the nice effects with the weeds and stuff, but in the rain it's hard to tell. Ah, too fast. I wonder what that speed limit was for. We have a green signal. Another green signal. Seven miles to go to Ditton Junction siding number eight.
Is that like member number eight, do you reckon? Another signal box coming up here. Uh, the one that Matt was playing, I don't think it was broken. I think he um, just ran through the signal. going Ooh, up there Who knows what the future might bring, Chicago? You should um, pop in forum posts to talk all about it. Oh, Hentis. No, I didn't watch Hentis one, sorry. I watched LaserJet um, day before yesterday. He was really lucky. He was allowed to show it a day earlier, day earlier than the rest of us. And he did a really good stream. It was fun. They made a very good choice giving it to him first. What does this signal say? This is a distant which is adverse or at danger, so we have to start slowing down. And let everything compress and there's a nice steam brake going on. No, oh, I haven't break enough. I think we might have seen just a little bit of a bug there. My um, brake was behaving rather strangely. But that's okay. We have a green signal and the other one's warning us that we had something adverse coming up. Oh, the coupling at the end. Which way round was his locomotive? Did he try to couple it at the pilot end or did he try to couple it at the tender end? Because they can't be coupled at the pilot end at the moment. More moves. Someone mood. I like these. There's a few of these around the route, and the buckets are all in different positions. Sometimes up, sometimes down, sometimes full of dirt. I like that. I wish they moved. That would be even better. And there's that cow again. The houses are nice over there. You've got to save all your little coins there in JTE. on that one. I'm just 
just realised you guys can see my cursor, can't you? Let me fix that. I only do that when I'm doing tutorial videos. That should fix that, if you can see my cursor anymore. I hope. We've got a little one that's red and a big one at proceed. So many different semaphores. There's one thing I'd like to see different. You notice that it took a while before steam came out of the cylinder cocks. I would like to see it come out as soon as you open the regulator, because that's more realistic. Is the uncoupling, uncoupling command at the end says Cayman that the game didn't register that? No, that's no good. Hello, Roy. Hope you're feeling better. It's always fun watching the van snake. Watch from this side of the van now. So we're back on the slow goods line again. We'll be allowed to speed up shortly, no doubt. Or not. Actually, no, we're approaching Ditton Junction. We may not be allowed to speed up much. We've been given 30 miles an hour for one mile. And if you're wondering why I keep opening the cylinder cocks, it's because the cylinders get cold when you're not using them. So you have to open them up to eject any water that's accumulated in there. Because I don't know if you guys know, but what we're looking at there, that is not actually steam. Everybody says it's steam, but no, it's water. Because you can't see steam, I'm afraid. It's invisible. Feeling any better today, Roy? I'm feeling great, because I don't have to do any work today. Brilliant. Cost me a day to leave, but that's okay. I'd rather play trains. Yes, it is boiled water. Steam is water that is in excess of 100 degrees Celsius. And if you read your science books, you'll discover that that's not possible. But there you go. Well, Roy, jump onto Steam. Buy this, play. There's actually a package deal for the um, game and for the DLC together. Three miles to Dickon Junction, sighting number eight. And we have a green on that one, but we will be changing tracks. Let's just bring our speed down a little bit again, and let's go down the back. And we can watch the van sneak again, because it's just fun. Actually, hearing one thing that I don't like in this DLC, you're hearing the flange ringing on the wheels. The squealing is quite okay. That's quite prototypical. So the, the, the squealing of the flange, but the ringing only happens on solid dish wheels, of which there are none on this train.
I have offered that feedback. So, if we're lucky, we have more than one territory in JTE. We have the Australian Capital Territory. We have the Northern Territory. Uh, I'm pretty sure some of the little islands are independent territories as well, like Torres Islands, Torres Strait Islands. I think they're an independent territory. There's not much difference these days between a state and a territory. There used to be, but they're pretty much governed the same way these days. Two point seven miles to Ditton Junction. Got all our carriage noises echoing off the surrounding dirt and the bricks up there. It's quite nice up here. Nice little city feel to it. get lost in the clouds. Little Morris car there. No, the states can't overrule the territories. Australia is a federation. It's not like the United States. The United States is... Um, fully a country. The states are actually self-governed for the most part. There are some things that are done centrally, like taxes. Now we're at the giant Runcorn Viaduct. Bridgeborn time. Oops, wrong way, wrong way. This is a cool viaduct. I have seen this thing down here move. It's not going to do it at the moment. Every now and again it moves. And this is the new bridge that if you look at this in YouTube now, or not YouTube, in Google Maps now, you'll um, see a giant steel bridge and this is the beginnings of it. Yeah, the smoke is good. They've done a really good job of it. I'd better start slowing down or we're going to crash. Gently apply some braking. Might need some more. Hello Farah, welcome. And the viaduct is quite cool. You know what's funny, this is actually the first train I've driven in the public build that you guys download. It's the first time I've seen it. Yesterday's streams were all in the preview. I like the number of smoking chimneys. It's a nice effect for the 1950s. I'm starting to drop down to yard level now. So we'll be peeling off shortly.
starting to slow down. It took a little while for that to take effect, but we're starting to. When the yards in this thing are just huge. I wish they used them a bit more. Because if you look at the map, look at that. It's just enormous. We have a lower quadrant green coming up on our left here. We have every single brake van lit, so they're all making smoke, except the ones beyond the draw distance. That's just kind of funny. Had to do it though. We should peel off to the left here, which we are. Now, is this the last. No, we're going to be backing up. this little disc signal so we have a proceed and we're going in the middle I haven't seen any good scenarios for GWR yet later today I'm going to play one uh, lost my file who is it there it is. Later today I'm going to play one from Joss, or Joe's, called Steam on the WSR. So that'll be on the West Somerset Railway. I'll probably only play a little bit of that one though, because, nah, WSR's too slow. And there's another one by Hamster, Steam to the Beach, that we'll play. So we'll check them out a bit later on. Let's just open our cylinder clocks up again. We're not going to make it at this rate. We are going uphill. Just got to be careful because I've got red signals not very far in front of me. So some of you can see here I've got 7% on the regulator, but there's nothing coming out of the cylinder cops and there would be. Anytime your steam chest is above zero, you're going to get steam out of the cylinder cocks. Nearly there. Ooh. Dirt on the track. Boring. Let me just get a time. So that's at 109. Wait for two minutes. So we're waiting for a signal one will be my bet. I'm popping a bug for that pile of dirt on the track if they don't already know about it. Wait, 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 And for the smart asses who said LED signals, no, light bulbs. This station's pretty at night time, it lights up really nicely. Just fly our drone in. It's going down the front of the crowd. And up and over. Hello! Uh oh. Drone whacked into a lady.
You're all lined up. That's funny. Yep, you. We're watching you. You're on YouTube. Did you know that? You and your shiny latex gloves. What about you? You gonna talk? No. All right, these guys. Twinsies, except for the hats. Objective complete. 7.7 7 miles away. And we're going ahead. Okay. More wheel spin for Chicago. He does love his wheel spin. Next signal is green. It's the lower one on the left there. Another green signal. The bouncing and thudding and crashing of a steam worker is relatively well produced, I have to say. They do just constantly make weird noises. She is a mad shoveler. Just never stops. Streaming later tonight. Here is today's schedule. Yep, too many. There you go. It's today's schedule. Those times are in Australian Eastern Standard Time. They're all separate streams. This is one of the empty stations. There's a couple of these. There's a couple of stations that never seem to get people and there's a couple of abandoned ones. Sheep. Meh. Meh. Didn't they just eat the flowers? They don't make any noise. I'm sad. That looks nice, doesn't it? Sheep cam. It is busy for a day off road. You're right. You're right. The second one is the first one in the list there. At 11 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. I have a bit of a break between each one.
Green signal. Where are we on the map? Getting through there. So we're going to go through another big yard. And then we're going to go into a monstrous yard. Bonk! Straight into a bridge. That hurt my head. Another green signal up there. So the second stream will start at 11am Australian Eastern Standard Time, which is in about an hour and a quarter from now. So I'll be ending this one, I think, at the end of this run. Or is there another one to do? No, it's the end of this run. Just so I get a bit of a break between each one. Because there is some other stuff that I want to do today. And where something doesn't last as long as the time slot I've got it, we'll fill it in with some, either a whole surface or part of a surface. Or we'll just go exploring. It's plenty to look at. What's he doing down there? It slipped for a moment, but it recovered. A bit more slipping. Oh, it's hard to get to the sander. Let's close the regulator a bit. Right, there we go. Abandoned station. You can tell because it's got weeds growing in it. under five miles to go on this run. There's a little yard here. Doesn't look like there's much in it. You can see a few carriage sets. And we have a distant green, which is the yellow one, and a green on the upper quadrant semaphore as well. Which most freight services actually stop here, so this is a bit unusual. Boof goes for safety valve. I'll get you away from it a bit. over four miles to go. Want to surprise any of our passengers? Green on the upper quadrant semaphore. Upper quadrant means they go like this. Lower quadrant means they go like this. 
and some semaphores pivot at the elbow and some of them pivot differently in the middle of the the actual metal plate it's got a real name but it escaped me and I think we've talked enough about my Instagram Chicago so I won't talk about that So just out of interest, just while it's cruising along there, and it's going quite nicely, I did see someone complain about the lines you see in the steam under the bridges, and that person is, in my book, a blanker, because you can see the lines of the bridge, and that's the lines you see in the steam. We have a distant at green on the upper quadrant yellow semaphore. Hey, just out of interest, what does YouTube actually show you the stream at? Does it show you at um, 2K or does it show you at 1080p? Because I stream it out at 2K and if that's not actually getting used, then I'm pumping out tons of bandwidth for nothing. If it's only showing it at 1080p, I'll stream it at 1080p. Because then I'd have enough bandwidth to um, push it out to more than one channel at the same time. That would be cool. I could relaunch on Twitch and on um, whatever the other one I used to use was. Two miles to go. Fourteen forty. Uh, Farah asks, we'll have to learn the signals for this, and can we just be lazy and follow the HUD? You can follow the HUD. I still do. Thanks, Brad Roy Kamen. Point seven miles to go. And we are coming into cruise, so we've travelled the entire length of the line in this run. The next stream that's at eleven o'clock I'll be running the scenario worst winter of all. It has some um, prototype inaccuracies in how things would actually happen on an English railway and I'll cover what they are when we when we actually do it. But it's still a lot of fun. And that's the main thing about it. scare the passengers. Why wouldn't you? More moo cows? Almost at the end of the run, mile to go. Coming down to 20 mile an hour shortly, so I'm just letting it drift downwards since we're on a very slight upwards grade.
Not quite sure what this crop is. Ah, wheat. Makes sense close up. That's from Sherman Hill. That was the grass on Sherman Hill that really did everyone's frame rates in. The abandoned station, I think. I like that it's still got fire buckets and coal and stuff. And the lower quadrant, very left one, is green there. Which let me know we're coming into the yard. Hello, signalman at Wavertree. Up goes the safety valve again. <laughs> yeah, the collectibles on Sherman Hill were a bit of a challenge. I think that's all fixed though now, isn't it? You think you can get them all. There were a few that were outside the playable area, which was a bit sad. There's a passenger train cruising around on the top there. I would like a somewhat better draw distance on the um, sleepers in here because some of them are actually drawing behind the train. It's a little sad. Some Mark 1s sitting over there, some by themselves, some together. I haven't actually um, done many of the collectibles on this route at all. One of the other beta members was uh, undertaking that. Yeah, it is a bit of a, a dropper. I mean, we're down to 22 here. I can't imagine how a PS4 is going to cope with that, but... Apparently the people who are playing it on PS4, from what I've seen, they say that the resolution drops, but it doesn't get choppy, so they're happy. You see what I mean about the lines under the bridges? So that guy that was complaining about he could see lines under the bridges and it was all wrong and that... Just, yeah. He's just got his hand on it. It is that simple, really. The reviews have gone quite well for this. And there's a, a small handful of people who have come out in massive hate speech about it. But for the most part... That's the postie. I hope they don't take whatever they've got with them.
I think from memory there's a scenario that lets you mess around it, crew. It's a free shunting scenario. You can do whatever you want. As long as you don't try and leave. Yeah, I think... Is this that... Yeah, we're almost at the end of this run, so when this one finishes... That'll be the finish for this stream, and I'll see you again at 11 o'clock, which is in about an hour's time, and I'll just take a little bit of a break. So the next one will be the worst winter of all scenario, and that one's not particularly long, so we'll probably play something else as well. So if you have any requests, see you at 11. Ended up in a wall there for a moment. Nearly there. And four miles an hour. Now at this kind of speed, this is where you have to be really gentle on the brakes because it it's uh, very easy to derail a four-wheel stock. And I have got a tutorial, part seven, which um, shows you how to and how not to derail the stock. Oop, I've gone past my stop. There we go. And that will be the it for this stream, because after the wait one minute, you don't actually do anything. So hang around if you want to see what i got. But we, let's go a bit of a fly around crew while we've got a moment. So we've got some more 8Fs here. Got some coaching stock in the sheds. I think there's a couple of services where you come in and out of the sheds to pick up coaching stock and take them out. I like this one. I'm not sure if I can open these on the 8 key. I can. I'll go in though. I actually like having the cage. I reckon that's cool. I wish passengers got in there. That would be funny. You can go down into the pits. Actually, can you walk around under a carriage? I haven't tried that. Let's have a look. You can. Oh, look at the detail under there. How cool is that? Objective complete. What'd we get? What'd we get? Silver medal. But at least it's finished. So what I'm trying to do through my streams today, let me just jump out of the route and I'll actually show you what I want to get to because I want to tick off level one in mastery today. Oops, wrong. Not creators club. Dopey. I want to go into Dovetail Live. And I am still logged in. This is good. And we've got... When it loads... When it loads... Thanks, Matthew. My son is very very quietly and subtly trying to place a parcel where I can see it. <laughs> he went and opened the door. When it loads... That's a lot of people in here today, I'm tipping. All right. So... My tier one progress, I've actually done this, but because I haven't signed out and signed back in again, um, I haven't been picked up for the prepare one yet, and I'm doing two scenarios today. So I'll try and get those ticked off, and then we'll find out what's in tier two. Because normally I find out in the beta, but um, I actually forgot. I never tried. There you go. That's okay. But anyway, I will see people in 55 minutes for the next part of this stream where we will be playing the worst winter of all scenario and I don't doubt some other stuff so have fun folks and I will see you in about 55 minutes I hope so enjoy thanks for watching folks I hope you enjoyed it I always like to get your feedback in the form of likes and comments because they help me understand what you want give the channel a subscribe and click on the tinkly things you don't miss out on any new stuff and thanks for your ongoing support and please be safe out there